My name is Jeannie Nuzel, and I am the Chief Operating Officer at the Wikimedia Foundation. We are the organization that runs Wikipedia, one of the top 10 websites in the world. Uh, it's an amazing opportunity to be able to work there. I'm a mechanical engineer by training and also have an MBA in international business. And I'd like to consider myself uh, a globalist. I am um, a black woman from America that has had the opportunity to experience the world in my work in my social travels and entertainment. And I have such a heart and a passion for everything that the world has to offer. Before I arrived at Wikimedia, I spent more than 16 years at General Electric where I led healthcare technology teams at our global research center and in our healthcare business. And one of my greatest experiences was the opportunity to be an expat where I lived in Accra, Ghana for many years and had an opportunity to deliver healthcare solutions to people in the emerging market. So access to healthcare, access to information and technology is what I've kind of hung my hat on in my career. But at the end of the day, I'm a girl from New Jersey. I was born in Newark at Beth Israel Hospital, raised in Plainfield, New Jersey, a daughter of uh, parents from the Great Migration who fell in love, um, had some children, did their best to educate us and create opportunities that have now become pivotal life experiences that I look forward to talking about with you today. I remember being in a conference room at a meeting. This was actually before I got to GE. When I was still a programmer, I was a coder, and we were working on a project, and I remember clearly my manager coming into the room talking about an issue that they were having with one of our clients. And he specifically said, I need someone who can get to Brazil like yesterday. And my hand just flew up in the air. And I don't even know if I had a passport at the time because I, yeah, I'm pretty sure I just went out of college. I hadn't traveled internationally. And I just remember my hand flying up and I was like, I'll go. I knew that there was more for me beyond the Americas. I wanted to be able to solve problems differently. I wanted to hear um, the, the voices of people, to smell the differences in the air. There was just something about uh, the world that I was so attracted to. And I grew up in, in a family where, you know, my father was very clear. He was like, I cannot afford to show you the world or have you experience the world but I will educate you and you will create opportunities to see the world. And so I had a globe and I used to spin it and look at different parts of the world and read about them in the encyclopedia. So it's funny that I actually work for an encyclopedia now that is a global product for the world. I was an expat in Accra, Ghana, living in Africa. The team that I led covered Sub-Saharan Africa. So we traveled throughout all of Africa. And prior to that, I was doing research that led me to places like Bangladesh and Indonesia and Saudi Arabia and Dubai and Myanmar. I, I just had um, this wonderful, wonderful opportunity. And here's what I'll say about it. Learning to lead and to lead businesses in these global spaces is something that Black women do not always have an opportunity to experience. There are very few of us that have a global footprint that's a part of our resume. So unfortunately, the perception of Black American women can be tainted a little. And so having the opportunity to show the world who we are and how we're able to lead and work and create change and be a part of uh, diverse stories and diverse experiences is so important. I had an opportunity at GE to uh, have a story written about me and they referred to me as a pioneer. And uh, that word, when I sat in it, I almost didn't want to own it for a while. I was like, no, no, I just do my job. Um, but when I sat with that for a while, I realized that that's absolutely the truth. The things that I've had a chance to do have been the things that most other people either wouldn't do or didn't know could be done. And I was all in all the time. I'll give you an example. When I was doing the research for the healthcare work that I was doing in Africa, one of the things that I had to do initially was go and live in a village and work with midwives. I lived in a rural village 
in a part of Africa that I couldn't even tell you where I was for most of that time for six weeks studying with midwives and nurses so that I could bring information back to our global research center so that our engineers could work on how to solve a problem. That is not something that I recommend everyone do, but I do want to say that the curiosity and the willingness to be able to go to great extents to help solve a problem have made success for me very different. Here's what I've seen. When it's work that no one wants to do, then go ahead. You can go try and figure it out and see if it works. The minute it becomes something sexy and something that all eyes are on and the media picks up on it and people wanna write about it and you're actually doing work that people can see an outcome and it's profitable, is the minute I will tell you that it, things start to get taken away from you. And there's a boldness that's required in that space to stand up and say, I own this, I built it, I've driven it, I've created the profit on it, my name is on it, and I'll let it go when I want to. I can't say that I've always done that well. I can say that every day I'm learning to do it better. Um, I remember my father, I used to tell my father, I want to change the world. And he used to say, go change the world and don't come home until you do it. And maybe hearing his voice in my head helps me. But I will say that while I'm encouraging you to take on a global assignment, it's critical. It's going to change your life and your career. I would be remiss if I didn't tell you that there are uh, challenges, there are uncertainties, and there's some fear. Traveling to the other side of the world, landing in places and spaces where people don't look like you. I didn't always live and work in Africa. I mean, I've landed in the middle of the night in uh, parts of the world where I'm the only black person some people have ever seen. And some of the you know uncertainty and just always ensuring that you're safe. And I just remind myself, uh, I did that. I did that and I can do it again. And I can promise you, that as a result of what I've experienced globally, I know for a fact that I'm a better leader, I am a better communicator, I'm a better family friend, I'm a better human, I'm definitely a better problem solver, a better budgeter. Your perspective changes when you have a global experience and it sets you up for what I believe can be something that changes yourself, the people that surround you and the organizations and the teams that work for you and with you.